Savior with me. There's no need to cover what I already see. You've got your reasons, but I hold your peace. You've been all locked out, and I I loved you before you knew what was love and I saw it all still I chose the cross and you were the one that I was thinking of when I rose from the grave now rid of the shackles my victory is yours I tore the veil there's no reason to stand at a distance anymore. You're not far from home. Cause I loved you before you knew what was love. I saw it all, so I chose the cross. You were the one that I was thinking of when. Shackles, my victory's yours. 
stories of love they think you're alive but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone you're a girl Father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am, you're a good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are.
hands unseen before your eyes. Nothing's unseen. Nothing's unseen. Nothing's unseen.
the story oh as you run what in the love will only become part of the story oh as you run what in the love will only become part of the story oh as you run Standing here in your presence In a great sorrow and this I am one By perfect love Wrapped within the arms of heaven In a peace that lasts forever Sinking
your name for you have made us and loved us still we want to stay in your love while we intercede for your loved one Israel in Jesus name amen we will now transition into a time of intercession for Israel please come into agreement with me as I lead these prayer topics and follow my prayer with your own intercession Jesus, you are the King of Jews. You are the Messiah of Israel. Thank you that there are people living in this world who carries the same lineage as you. Thank you for loving the people you chose so much that you would choose to come down as a man to die on the cross. We pray for this revelation of Yeshua who came to save his own people to be revealed to us and the church around the world. Remind us that you are the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That you have not forgotten the Jews, but you are still the king over them. We pray for the Jews to see and grasp the power of the gospel. Truly see that you are the king they've been waiting for. Show them that you are the true Messiah who laid down his own life to bring them to the eternal salvation and glory. Today, we proclaim that you are Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Let's pray. Of your promises. 
thank you for the covenant you made with Abraham and extending the same covenant to us through your son Jesus. We declare that your promise with Israel stands true today. We pray blessing and favor over the Israeli people as your chosen nation. Lord, make them great for the sake of your name. Bless those who bless Israel, but for those who come against them, let your anger be released. We pray for your protection and justice over your people from its enemies. We disallow hatred towards them being overlooked or even being encouraged by the nations around them. Raise up your church to pray and fight for the covenant and the people you love. Give us your heart for Israel. Open our hearts to pray for our brothers and sisters of the same covenant. Let us pray. up the land of Israel. It's a land that you love and you have set apart to be yours. Even though so many nations have tried to take over this land, it was impossible to take it from your hands. Thank you for calling us to pray for your land. You are raising up your watchmen at this hour to pray for the land of Israel. We declare your watchmen are being awoken up to your heart's cry and will not stop to intercede for this land day and night. We pray for supernatural protection over the land of Israel. We disallow enemies' attacks to destroy what you called holy. We ask for your hand of protection over the city of Jerusalem. We want to see this city being established in peace and security and become the radiant house that you have chosen for your people. We come in agreement with Isaiah 62 that you will not rest until you see Jerusalem become a praise in the earth. Let's pray.
God, you are our healer and redeemer. You are the beginning and the end. And you will finish what you've started in Israel. You will restore them back to its glory. Father, we ask for the love you have for Israel to be restored in the church again. Awaken the church to repent of their ignorance and pride. To love them as you have loved. Awaken your church to pray for Israel to be healed and be returned to you again. We ask for you to have mercy on the house of Israel and show them that the promise has been forgotten. But it's been renewed by the blood of Jesus and the new covenant is yet to be fulfilled. Restore the church of Israel with a fresh outpouring of your spirit. Restore your holiness and undivided love for their king. Let's pray. your love for them we have been grafted into the same covenant we bless Israel and we pray that we will not rest until we see your glory be fulfilled in the land of Israel in Jesus name Amen
presence this morning. You're such a good father to us. You're a God who knows the moment we rise, you know, the moment we lay down to rest. You're a God who sees and reads our thoughts from afar. You're a God who's so well pleased of your children this morning. 
we thank you, God, for the favor that we have in you as we walk this life. May we know, God, that there's nowhere we can go away from your spirit, nowhere we can flee from your presence, that you are God who hems us in behind and before. And all these thoughts, all these truths are too wonderful for us to fully understand. We thank you, Father, that you're a God who continues to draw us closer to himself. May every day that we spend in your presence be a day where we draw nearer and nearer to you, that your thoughts would become our thoughts, that your ways would become our ways. May we become more like you with every day. May we look more like you with every day. We thank you, Father, for everything that you have done for us this morning, the way that you have spoken to us through your word, the way that you have ministered to us through your spirit. May this day be a day that you have written about even before this day came to be. May we walk in your perfect will today. We thank you, Father. We love you. And we pray all these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. Hope that you are blessed uh, as we continue to meditate on Psalm 139. And that as you go on this day, that you would remain in his presence knowing that no matter where the state takes you, that it won't be very far from his spirit. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys next week. And if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. We have an evening watch at 8 p.m. tomorrow as well. So if we don't see you tomorrow, we'll just see you next week. Have a wonderful day.